You are with the international, out to national, nobody can smoke like the Dan. We're just a bill up one scliff in one hand. <laughs> Mr. Bullshit in the place. And today, we've got somebody that is an up and coming new school Don so large himself. What's going on, my brother? I'm just on, right here. Yeah. Yeah. man just ran into the studio, ran into the man name. I had to give the interview, yeah, I'm just on. We got Lordy. Hey, salute, man. Mr. Sandwich, um, come on. This is what I'm saying. E300, what? So I was just about to go straight into what is the sandwich thing about? What is it about? It's just a real life situation, man. It, like, you could, you could just take it how you want to take it, and it's music, like, you can take what you want from music, innit? Like, right? you could just make it mean what you want it to mean, like, there's people that. You could have different beefs with different things like this man saying they don't like the way they look. They could just put some bread on that and just go to the gym, like spend money on a personal trainer or something. You get what I'm trying to say? There's people who could be watching the TV and see like, I don't know, kids in Africa with flies on them and say that upsets them, then do something about it. You send them money or something, you know what I'm saying? Anything that you've got an issue with, like, you could just like boss up and do something about it. You know what I'm trying to say? Instead so of just sitting back and letting the things piss you off or everything. <laughs> So it's like a man can just take it how they want to take it. Like, it, could, it, may, it could mean a hundred things. But I think like music, it should be there to inspire more of those people. Like at this age, you can't just be making music, screaming and shouting, chatting and shit. If you don't feel like you're going to change someone's mind or someone's day or someone's way of thinking, you know what I'm trying to say? Sweet. Sweet. So I feel like all the music we're making at this age has to have some deeper meaning to it. No, it's good you say that because a lot of people are making a lot of throwaway music. Um, they're just doing the tune and say, oh, I'm going to studio and they just put yeah, this tune But in. like you know, like the whole process of going to studio, it is like just to make something that ain't going to be timeless music or something that ain't going to just last that people can't listen to in 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Know the process. Like you go to the studio, you stop whatever you're doing to go to the studio, so then you're going to pay for the studio time and then you're going to get it mixed down. And then, you know, radio edits and just get it out to all the DJs and that. And then what's the point in doing it if it's a tune that people ain't going to want to listen to in 10 years from now? You know what I'm saying? At this point in music, like, I feel like it's a waste of time for making a song that people can't really relate to. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So where does the name So Large come from? What made you call yourself So Large? You know where it is? Uh, I was called Soldier Kid. But I remember... I had a bar about S.O. Large, you ain't near me, and then S.O. Large, I can't even remember the bar. But one of my boys, like, he just caught his ears kind of thing, but he just stopped calling me, so everyone was calling me soldier, 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 but one of my boys just kept calling me so large. I don't know why, he just kept calling me large, he saved my number in his phone book, so large, I would ring him, he would answer the phone, large, this, that, the other, so I don't know. It's like I stopped doing music for a while, then when I started again, I felt like I didn't want to just call myself soldier kid no more. So I just, just used the song, I ran with that, and then was kind of stuck from someone listening to a lyric, and then, you know what I'm saying? I see you got a lot of uh, yardy twang in your lyrics. Where does your influences come from? You know what, it's just the upbringing, isn't it? Like, to be honest, like, certain people when they were kids might have been just watching, I don't know, Top of the Pops tape, that, this, that, the other, like, there's a lot of the, the music being played in the household, like, not just my household, my family, different family members, certain friends. You know, it's, 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 it was mainly old bashment stuff like Ninja Man, um, Super Cat, Boja Man, and you know what I'm saying? Mm. So obviously, naturally, if you're going to start making music, you're going to start making music that your influence, like it's gonna, your influences are going to come out of the music naturally. You see what I'm saying? So that's going to be. That's basically, but it's not no fake yardy thing, you know what I'm no, trying to say? Like, are, of course. Yeah, I'm not trying to be a yardy, like I'm born in Britain, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a yardy, I've been, I've been Jamaican many With Jamaica times. roots though, you're born yeah, in Britain with Jamaica you know, roots. That's my thing, I'm, 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 I'm not shying away from my roots. When you walk around your house, yeah, you're hearing Jamaican yeah, accents. Of course, because yeah. there's, there's, there's man that like, you ask them where you're from, you say I'm from England, but like, I, I'm, I'm black British, but I know my roots. I've been down to Jamaica since I was like 18 months old. I've been there like every couple years since that. So I know my roots, so I know I'm Jamaican. You get what I'm saying? Se 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 why? Which, which, part, which, part, which part of this town you come from, why? So I'm, from, I'm from the country, half my family from the country, half my family from Kingston. There you go. You get me? Seaford Town. Sit there. Google it, it's a bit of. Seaford Town, upon the Gaza. Yeah, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's the roots, the real roots. But anyway, 
what I'm, what I'm saying is, if I want a haircut, I'm going to a Yardie Barber. If I want to get something to eat, I'm more than likely, I'm not going to the cafe, I'm going to the Jamaican shop. Wherever I am, I'm going to find a, a food shop. You get what I'm saying? That's, before a KFC or a chip shop, I'm like, I'm, 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 I've been brought up as a Jamaican, I'm a Jamaican, so if I want to make music, I'm going to sound like a Jamaican in my music. I'm a Jamaican. I can't sound like something close. You get what I'm saying? Straight up, fully hear that all the way. Um, go into a so large live. You got that. Straight away, you are um, a state show dandada. Also, is that what you said? So that's coming from a lot of the super cat ninja man yeah, style. Because you know, really... you, you know what I've done? Sorry to cut you up, but what I've done is I've caught myself watching their stage shows. And I, I don't know, it's just naturally. So if I'm going to bust mic, I'm going to bust mic like one of them, man. Yeah, like a cable on that. Even there was one clip that I saw a cable on, on a radio station, but he's just like burning on fire. And it's like everyone's making bare noise, but he's not stopping. He's carrying on burning the fire because it's like, if you're not just here to scream and shout, and get, I'm not trying to get wheel ups and stuff. We, like, that's not the purpose of what I come out for. Like, when a postman goes out to deliver the post, he's not going to celebrate over, over that. So if a DJ wants to rule me up for something I've said, I've never, I, ne I never sit in my house saying I'm writing bars to get wheel ups. Mm -hmm. I'll be, my process of making bars is like, I'll be doing something or I'm somewhere, I'm driving, I'm going to meet someone, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And then these lyrics will just come to me. You get what I'm saying? So if I'm spraying them on the mic and then someone, I'll get a reaction from the people in the room. I'm not going to just say, oh, I'm chuffed, they're, 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 they're going mad for my bars because I feel like it's, 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 it's deep, you get what I'm saying? It's come from somewhere down to me. So I'm not, I'm not saying, yeah, I'm getting wheeled up and I'm stopping. So to me, it's just the job, man. That's the job. I'm preaching. I see it like I'm preaching. Of course. You get what I'm saying? Of course. It's, it's not like, wheel up, let me stop. Like, that's why I carry on going. Mm -hmm. War. War. What is the war? Like the last one I see, you were sending for about three or four other guys. Yeah. Like, you, you know what? Has it all started? And what made you participate in it instead of turning the other cheek? Listen, listen. Let me let me explain something to you. That's what. You see the error like of the music of like, like someone sends for you, but you're not gonna stop and think, wait, I'm too big to send for him. Like right, when you got it into it with Trim, like realistically, Storming is a big name in the circuit. Bigger than Trim at the time, but you didn't stop and think I'm bigger than him, so I'm not gonna. You, you get what I'm saying. So that's my thing. That someone might not be as big, but I'm gonna. If they say something about me, I'm gonna retaliate. You get what I'm saying. I'm not shying away from it and trying to say, ah, oh, no one knows who he is. If you say my name, well, now that being said, now it's not like anyone could just say my name and I'll, yeah. But that that's the thing. Like you say, my, like look at Wiley. How many people while he's clashed in hindsight, yeah, he wasn't supposed to clash half them people, but him doing that is part of the culture, what's keeping the culture moving, you get what I'm saying? Like it keeps on your toes. Keep, yeah, it keeps on your toes and it's what are things about that? Like people call you out and then you just step up to the plate, you get what I'm saying? So, so I'm proving it. Yeah, but that's my whole thing, it got turned around to look like I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I don't like about it. You get what I'm trying to say? I did an interview the other day and the person cut bare stuff that I was saying out. But I'm saying, I've gone on a set, I'm seeing there's back and forth going on. I didn't like what I saw for, for the people from my area. I felt like were being, that they weren't being taken seriously. So I said, I'm the man that's going to come in there. Everyone takes these E3 people seriously now. I'm here. And it's been flipped that I'm just a troublemaker. But People have gone on radio and said my name, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, if I've come after you on a set, you know how this thing goes. We're not doing R&B or pop. This is aggressive music. So if you're, if you're saying you're in it, you're in it. You get what I'm saying? So if someone comes after you and takes the mic and says something you don't like, you can retaliate by taking the mic back. But you know if you feel like that day you never had enough ammunition to stand to and you feel like someone pulled your pants down and embarrassed you, what I would do, God forbid, that can't happen to me. I don't feel like since I've been back on the circuit, someone's come on the radio and embarrassed me that I've got to go home and write bars for them. That was the case. What I'll do is go harder so that the next time I bump into them on radio, no one's embarrassing me. But certain men want to go and write bars and put my name in bars and spray them on radio. And I think that's so like, I don't understand that. You get what I'm saying? Unless I've declared war and it's like on, but it wasn't like that. So people are writing bars for me. Then it was supposed to be a radio clash, but it was Christmas Eve, bearing in mind. 
Ask Jerome. Jerome's here now. He's in Jerome's. I come to Jerome's on Christmas Eve at about 10 o'clock. Yeah? And because I got the bird called up, my man's getting a, a dub's getting made. So I'm thinking it's going to be Christmas Day. It's going to be a dub circulating for me on Christmas Day. I can't have that because mm. I can't retaliate on Christmas Day. So I'm thinking, all right, let me get to Jerome's. Last minute, we can call Jerome up now. I come here Christmas Day, Christmas Eve. I come here about 10, 11 o'clock on Christmas Eve. And I had like an eight bar that I made up in my head in the car on the way here. I come here with no bars. Yeah, I didn't even have the beat. I had about two beats to choose out of. Put the beat on, run the rhythm now. But my thing was, I'm not on a hype team saying I'm, I'm doing a dub, I'm dropping a dub. I thought, if man's got a dub for me, I've got to have one myself. You know what I'm saying? So I sent it to Grand Report, yeah? Done and, 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 and Lordy is my witness. I said to Lordy, yeah, don't drop it until my man drops his dub, yeah? Because I'm not on a hype, I'm saying, my dub's there. Like, I don't No, that's real talk, that's real talk, that's real talk. I'm playing, but I'm not on a hype, I'm not playing because like, I can produce the goods. Mm. You get me? I'm the pressure or not. It was Christmas Eve, 10, 11 o'clock, I'm in the booth. Who are we talking about? Capoli. Oh, right. That's what we're getting on to, that's the only yeah. one we could be talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah? So I produced the goods, I was here, 10, 11 o'clock, I'm the pressure, we can get Jerome out right now. He's in the middle of a session with Sharky. We might have to get a reference of Jerome, <laughs> yeah? So I'll come, I, yeah, I'll give him the goods, but I've said it to Lordy and I said, don't press a button unless he lets go of his one. But miscommunication, because it's Christmas Day now. Yeah, I've yeah. said it to Lordy on Christmas Day. Miscommunication, their minds have gone first to make it look like I'm on the hype team. Yeah, so it's yeah. looked like, it's looked like, I've dropped a dub, he's heard it, he's gone to the studio, I'm yeah, this one, yeah, but this yeah, is all yeah. Christmas Day, but what's going yeah. on is, He's got the yeah, dub, right. and bearing in mind, two days before dubs are getting thrown about, he's been on radio with these same bars for me. So he's, who knows how long he's had these bars for. Mm. I'm saying I was under pressure and I made the bars on the spot, but that's not an excuse because what I'm saying is, that is a wicked man dub. That ain't no idiot, idiot dub, that's a dancehall, wicked man dub. Not even dancehall, stage shot, kind of, boom, lick off your head back. Sure. Take that, hold that, you get me? So. But, but that's what we're, that we was talking about before the camera was rolling. This internet era where we have all these nicks and these idiots that like we can't really take their word because like you know, this music, where it started from, it didn't start from nicks, it was a rude music journal. It didn't even have a name, it was our team. You get what I'm saying? So when nicks want to ever say that, oh, no, this, that, and I'm thinking about, what are you talking about, bro? You don't know about, like, you get what I'm trying to say? It's not even that, oh, because you're not old school, you ain't got to say. Cool, you've got to say, but the real man them who I want to entertain would hear my music and say, my man lift off his head. Yeah. But what I don't like is they try to ignore my second dub. You get what I'm saying? Because I did the high team, this, that, and other, but then I kept it calm on the second one and I just spoke, I just counteracted everything he said and licked him off again and then dealt with murky eggs at the same time. You get what I'm saying? And that, and you know what it is? We got Capo Lee, because I haven't really got no malice for Capo Lee, but it's Murky Ace. <laughs> Did you see the sugar of water that, you know when you get so angry, yeah, that your back starts to get dry? <laughs> no, it's not that, no, no, we, no, the camera's been rolling for a good 10 minutes, I needed the sip of water. I hear that, man. That was a water. I'm, I'm, I'm having one. Yeah, go, go, back here. go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. What I didn't like was, let me break it down, because the grand report took the grand report, they break down, they had their own war report, so they broke down, you know everything what happened, yeah? Let me show you what's going on here, yeah? It's a year of verse history, don't matter. But, so, what me and Capo done, I think that's the most entertaining Christmas in Grand for a lot of people. Look at man. Fam, I swear down here, yeah, that saved Christmas, yeah? Because there weren't nothing else going on. Sending season was a big thing. Well, I, I enjoyed listening. That's it would have been standards. Yeah, do you understand? Yeah, do you understand? Like, my thing is this, honestly, yeah, yeah, I don't hold bias, do you understand? I yeah. don't. I've learned how to not hold no bias, innit? Oh, it? Because there ain't no winners and losers. Of course. Do you understand? There really ain't, do you understand? Yeah. Like, because might be something tomorrow. Yeah. But the thing that I do respect is, is who jumps into the ring. Yeah. That's what I respect, because a lot of people pussy their way they out of it. Do you understand? They jump into the middle Yeah. They're, they're no, more than that, do you know what I mean? Of course. But I said, like I said, I had the Neek world against me. Mm. But Twitter's only one place, so we can't really take Twitter that seriously. But a perception can get built on Twitter that can make something look like something. Because there's certain clashes, yeah? Lord of the Mic clashes and stuff like that, that before I've even seen the footage, 
I've been hurt, oh my man got mugged. Yeah. And then I'd think, ah, oh, fucking not talk, talk, yeah. Like, my man, I might break my man, so I might say to myself, I don't even want to watch it. I don't even want to watch it. There's no way my man should have got spun by my man. Then I'll watch it and I'll think, nah, but I don't really think it went like that. Like, there's one particular clash, but I don't really want to say no names to make it look like I'm choosing sides or something, but there was one particular clash where one man's name was getting dragged through the dirt, like, yeah, he got spun. He got tongue, like, he, it was mad. And then when he watched it there, And then I watched it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I thought, no, like, I'm waiting for the eight more bit. <laughs> where they said man choked on the stage and got booed off the stage and all that. But when I'm watching it, I'm waiting for this bit, but I'm thinking, like, they really go like that. You get what I'm saying? So from that, I just kind of know that this whole internet thing can make you feel a certain way about what's happened before you've even watched it. Because mm. I've done that myself, yeah. if you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And not watched the clash till like three months later because hearing the result, I'm pissed thinking, nah. Like, I fucked with my man. Like, I was an old school fan of my man. So the hair has been spun by someone that I don't really listen to is going to piss me off. Of course. You get what I'm trying to say? But anyway, back to the point, man. The way, I like the way Graham Paul's chopped up the war, so segment by segment, so you know exactly what's going on. But what's going on is, I've sent for Capo, Murky Ace tried to do the enforcer thing and act like he's, Murky, uh, he's Capo's enforcer, like that was necessary. But anyone that knows, knows that it wasn't like that between me and Capo, it was normal. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't like when I see him this, that and other, it was normal. You get what I'm saying? So, what he's done is, he's tried to get involved in a war because his name won't pop in. No one cares about monkeys. He's tried to jump in a war and say he's sending for jams now. So he's sent for jams, he's got his head licked off by jams, but on the dub for jams, he said my name. But I'm thinking, wait, I don't got an issue with you. Why are you going to say my name for? Like, I can't just have a man say my name loosely, like it's cool to say my name. So, on my reply for Capo, I've said, I'll give him a case of 16, a quick 16, I made him hold, hold a 16. Then what he's done is, instead of coming back for Jams, who murdered him, he's made a whole dub for me. But I didn't like the dub because the dub, now this is where it gets all funny. The dub, you're talking about stuff that you know nothing about. You get what I'm saying? You're talking about, you're bringing up, you're trying to draw me out to say stuff that could have me behind bars, realistically. You get what I'm saying? So instead of really playing that game, I just did it a different way. You get what I'm saying? So that's that, really. Course. Next thing, where can we find you? Where can we see you next? Where's your next week CD album? What's coming up next? It's just constant works out. Like you see, what's the time right now? It's like 11 o'clock. Yeah. I've just stepped in yeah. the studio. I'm waiting on Sharp to finish, but after that, I'm like, I'm, I, I, should, I record. I'm always recording, I'm always working, but I'm not in a rush to just, you know, full stuff down people's throats that they're going to just have for listen to for like a week and then they're on to the next one you get what i'm saying there is no rush with the internet you could drop a mixtape this week and then next week they are or next month they're asking about where's the next thing or you get what i'm saying so that means it's about, it's about making time it's music hey. that's my thing you hey. get what i'm saying there you have it people so large in the place storm and smoke point and today we are sponsored by Triple P, big up my G, um, High Grade London, and Mr. X himself is with a bit of wax and panda dance on there. Is this the there. first smoke yeah. point? You wanna keep asking your interview and ain't smoking? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Wait, haven't like, you got no edibles for him? I ain't, you know, I ain't gonna edible today. I ain't gonna edible today, I just came straight smoke back, smoke Jones, I wrote the pot, you know that's bare compartments up in there, yeah? So, people, let me know who you want me to sit down with and talk with, maybe smoke with, maybe not. Even though it's the storm in smoke point, I wrote it, I wrote it, I'm gonna smoke it. So, I mean, my smoke point, innit? <laughs> so, let me know, all down there, right down there, who you want me to take the view next. Bossy! Bye. One real quick question for so large safe, man. Go for it. Like, Who's some of the MCs that inspired you coming into the game as an MC? I'm not even gonna say it because you're sitting next to me, yeah. Apart from Eric about jacking someone in bowl, yeah. <laughs> Storming, Sharky, obviously original nasty, Storming Sharky, Armour, obviously I'm a bowl man, so naturally it's an armor team. We got armor beat on a comeback team, yeah. Nasty crew, boom. Then obviously you got the later nasty crew with the gets, Kano's, D double, Footsie. Yeah, my team, monkey. So all Monday night. Listen, let me explain something to you. Monday night, yeah, from two to four, Meridian crew. Mm -hmm. Big up Meridian. Zop, 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 zop. Prez, Big H, Skepta, Jamie, 
Mad team, yeah. Four to six, rough squad. Jesus. They're my homeboys anyway. Big up, big pumper, slicks, mate. Away from them being my homeboys, it's like them, like they're fucked. You get what I'm saying? Six to eight, obviously nasty crew. Nah. Before that, you used to get somebody called Two Tough Crew. Two you Tough, know? no, Two Tough, no, ten to No, it You're was Rodney like, being Rodney Bachelor, Super D, uh, Bachelor crew. They were Super D, Rodney <laughs> Bachelor, and that was first. 